What's up guys, Jared back. So CyanogenMod 10.2 has been out for a couple of weeks now and I know a lot of you guys out there like to wait for my how to install videos. Now instead of showing you guys multiple videos on how to install it on this device and how to install it on, uh, on that device, I'm going to show you just a really quick sort of universal method on how to install it. Uh, so first things first, you're going to want to go to the Play Store and download this particular application right here, Goo Manager. I know may, some of you may not be familiar with it and that's why we're doing it this way in this video. So let's go ahead and download that and then once it's downloaded, install it, click on it. It's probably going to ask you for super user permission, grant it super user permission. Now chances are if you have a rooted device, if you have an unlocked bootloader, chances are I'm saying you probably have a um, custom recovery installed. Now if you don't and maybe you want to be running the same custom recovery I'm running, I use TWRP or Team Win Recovery Project. So in order to get that, what you're going to do is click on that little settings overflow menu or if you have a Samsung Galaxy. CS4 or a Samsung device, you probably have a little menu button. Go ahead and click on that too. And then you have the option here, install open script recovery. So go ahead and just tap on that and that'll do everything for you all automatically in the background. Give it about five to 10 minutes though. Have some patience. It's going to take some time to download the file itself and flash it in the background the whole nine yards. Now, once that's done, what we're going to do is click on from the main menu here, browse compatible ROMs. So go ahead and click on that and it's going to bring up an, a list. Now, I'm not going to go through what each one of these are, but as you can see, we've got several different um, very popular ROMs here. But most importantly for this video, we're looking at CM Sanogen Mod. All right. So we're going to click on that. Now, for, as you can see, I'm using an HTC One here. Now, the reason why I decided to use an HTC One is because these ROM developers always prefer and recommend that you install whatever ROM you're using on your internal storage or at least from your internal storage and the HTC one only has internal storage so let's keep things simple um, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and click on my phone there which is the M7 and I'm gonna go ahead and click on nightly and once that uh, pops up uh, as you can see we've got a ton of different nightlies here with some different dates so uh, Goo manager isn't always the most up-to-date with the latest sandwich mod nightly that is for even any device or ROM I should say um, now, the reason behind that is because they've got a ton of devices that they have to uh, keep updated and it takes them a little while to get to each particular one. So that said, we're going to be downloading one or two days ago's um, nightly. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that one there and we're just going to go ahead and click on begin download. Now, take note that it also says download G apps. Now, the reason we want to download G apps, that's our Google apps, the Play Store, your keyboard, um, you know, everything else Google related, Google services and so on. Uh, so that's very important that we download and uh, install that alongside what during the uh, ROM installation process now don't download the G apps from Goo manager okay the reason I say that is because they're always extremely behind in the date I think the last uh, Google uh, uh, Google Apps update they have um, or the package I should say they had was for like um, July or something like that uh, at least bef before Android 4.3 was even released so if you're to download it right now it would give you Android 4.2.2 uh, version Google Apps and we don't want that because that's not compatible with Android 4.3 which is what CM 10.2 is based off of so I'm going to provide a link in the description below so you can download the latest Google Apps or sorry Google Apps yourself um, and right now at the moment it's 2013 08 13 is the uh, date number for the latest Google Apps package that'll probably be relevant for the next I don't know few weeks and then it'll change but uh, the link I'm going to give you down below will keep you up to date with the latest Google Apps so not to worry uh, this is going to take a little while because it's downloading from um, the Goo manager servers so we're going to give that a little while here to download and we'll be right back as soon as it's done downloading and we'll show you how to install the ROM and Google Apps as well Alrighty, now that we've finished downloading our uh, nightly from Goo Manager and you finished downloading the G apps package from the link in the description that I provided below, um, what you're going to want to make sure you do is actually put Google Apps package onto the storage of your phone. So just connect your phone to your computer and just drag and drop that file right onto somewhere that you'll be able to find it later on. Okay, uh, now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and launch into um, recovery so that we can actually flash this. So we're going to back out all the way to the main menu of Goo Manager again, and we're going to click on reboot recovery. And yes, we do want to reboot. 
So give it a moment and that'll reboot right into TWRP recovery. All right, so now that we're here, uh, I, what I like to do is always double check to make sure that those files actually made it to my internal storage or so much that I can that my recovery can see that those files are there. So I'll go into install. Now with Goo Manager, it actually creates a little folder in your uh, storage all by itself um, so that you can manage all the downloaded files that you've downloaded. Uh, you'll notice in here that we have Sanage Mod uh, 10.2 with the 18th of August nightly. Uh, but of course, that's not the latest nightly. I'll show you how to get that in just a moment. So we're going to go ahead and click up level and I want to make sure that my Google Apps package has been pushed to my phone. So I'm going to scroll on down here and as you can see I do have the latest GApps package 2013-08-13. Uh, so that's good to know. So then what I recommend to all of you do is click backup so that you can back up what your current ROM is uh, everything like in terms of settings and app data and applications and everything. That way if you don't like what you see with Sanjimon you can always flash back to the original ROM. Uh, so you just go ahead and click on backup let it do its thing. It'll do take about anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes depending on how big your ROM is and all the data that you have. Uh, that said, what we're, we're going to want to do is make sure that we wipe all the data on our current ROM. So we're going to go ahead and just select that, click wipe, slide across, and that's been wiped. So now we can go back again and jump back into install, and we're going to pop on down to our Goo Manager uh, folder again, just like that, and we're going to select that. But we're not done because we will still want to add uh, another zip file to it, which is our Google Apps package. So we're going to tap on add more zips. We're going to go up a level back to our storage. Scroll all the way down until you find your Google Apps package, which I have right there. I'm going to click on that, like so. And then both of them has been added. Uh, as you can see, file two of Max 10. I'm going to go ahead and swipe across. And that's going to go ahead and install both the ROM and Google Apps for me, which will take just a few, maybe one or two minutes. So we'll be back as soon as that's finished. Alrighty, now that that's done flashing, uh, it's always recommended by the CM devs that we give it another factory data reset. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and click on back back again and we're going to click on wipe and we're just going to go ahead and give it a little swipe across there that's done then we click back and then back with that button and then we're just going to go ahead and simply select reboot and system and that'll go ahead and reboot our phone into sandage mod as you'll see in just a moment and there it is sandage mod is booting up uh, the first boot always takes a little bit longer so give it some time Alrighty, as you can see we're fully booted up so just go ahead and select the country that you're in and uh, go ahead and um, set everything up. And we're gonna show you after I'm done this how to update to the latest Sanj Mod Nightly. Alrighty, so I'm all done setting up and we're back at the home screen now. We actually are running Sanj Mod and we'll do what everybody else does just to prove it. Go down to About Phone and as you can see, Android 4.3 and the build number, uh, more importantly, the build date, you know, the 18th of August. Uh, so now that's great and everything, but how do we update to the latest Sanage and Mod Nightly? Because we're running eight, the 18th right now, when the latest is actually the 19th. So let's go ahead and you'll notice, again, we're still in About Phone. We're going to go ahead and click on Sanage and Mod Updates. This is the beauty about the new feature. Uh, now, by default, this is what it's going to look like, new version stable only. Um, well, it's nightly, so we're going to want to probably check daily. Uh, and then we're going to want to check um, change updates uh, sorry, update types to uh, new versions, including nightlies. All right, that refreshes it. And as you can see, the latest nightly is actually now the 19th. So you'll notice we've got this little download button here. We're going to go ahead and click on that. And the nightly is actually, for some reason, to me, seem to download a little bit quicker, um, though sometimes it varies from internet, con internet connection to internet connection and so on. So we'll be right back as soon as this is actually finished downloading. Alrighty, now the update is finally done downloading. As you can see, it actually took considerably longer than I had uh, estimated. Nevertheless, uh, you can see here in the drop down menu, we actually have an option to reboot and install. Uh, alternatively, if we were to go into our uh, whoops settings menu here and go back down to about phone and of course Sanage mod updates, you'll notice that the little download icon has changed to the same sort of icon that we saw in our notification. So we can just go ahead and click on that button there and it's going to say you're going to be updating uh, the nightly to the latest one. So just go ahead and click update and that'll actually reboot your phone into recovery, flash uh, the update for you and reboot your phone back into the ROM and right back to your home screen all by itself. Really, really convenient. But I wanted to show you one last thing, a uh, little tidbit, a little tip of information as soon as we're done uh, updating. So we'll just wait for this to finish. And as you can see, it's booted us into recovery all by itself and it's currently flashing the latest update. Already it was done flashing the update and as you can see, it's automatically booting us right back into uh, the ROM itself. There's the Sanage Mod boot logo.
Alrighty, so we're all booted up again. Now, for some of you out there, you might, after an update, experience your little Wi-Fi and or data symbols um, turn gray. And if that means they're gray instead of blue like it is now, you don't have access to the Google Play Store, Google services. So in order to gain that back again, uh, what I did was just reflash gapps. So you go back into recovery and you'll wipe cache and wipe Delvet cache only. And then you go ahead and reflash that gapps package that you downloaded earlier. Uh, upon reboot into the ROM again, um, you should have uh, connectivity to the Play Store. Now, on top of all that, a lot of you guys might end up running into the situation where uh, you'll download and install an application that requires root or super user permission more specifically. Um, and it might say to you that you don't actually have root or super user permission. Uh, so if that's the case, go ahead and jump into about phone there. And we're going to scroll on down to build number, tap that as you would expect to get into developer options. So as you can see here, as soon as this toast disappears, there it is, developer options. And in here for CyanogenMod, we've got this little root access option here. So go ahead and click on that. Now at the moment, it'll say, for me at least, apps only. Or for you, it might say disabled. Um, what I actually end up doing is click on disabled, or if it was already disabled, click on something else, close it out, and then click on um, disabled again. Uh, anyways, and then uh, I end up going to, I believe, apps and ADB and allowing applications to request root access is very dangerous and could compromise the security of your system. So we're gonna go ahead and click OK. And now we should have root access again and be able to grant applications uh, super user permission. Anyways guys, that is all of it. Um, I hope this was easy for you to follow and hopefully you'll be able to retain some of this information so you can do it really, really quickly in the future. Um, that is CyanogenMod, or at least how to install CyanogenMod 10.2 on pretty much any Android device. Uh, anyways guys, like I said before, I'll be posting a link in the description below to the Google Apps package so that you can stay up to date on all the latest Google Apps packages. Um, and hopefully like this video. Uh, if you did, show me by clicking that likes button down below. It always goes a long way to helping out the channel. You can always subscribe for more videos like this one in the future. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Google Plus if you want to stay up to date on all things the smoking Android. That's it for this one though guys. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.